Welcome today to Christ Church of the Heartland. It is our privilege, even an honor, to be able to speak to you and bring these five-minute messages. Well, we hope they're five minutes. Once in a while, because I'm long-winded, I might go a little over. But we're in this uh, 21 days of fasting and prayer, and I, I've been thinking about it and asking the Lord, and I believe he brought me to this area of John 14, 16. Jesus said, and I will pray the Father, and he shall give you another comforter that he may abide with you forever. It is, in fact, the Holy Spirit that he's talking about. And then Jesus taught in another place, he said, it is the Father's good pleasure to give you and I the Holy Spirit. So when we're talking about this, Jesus prayed, he asked the Father, when he went to heaven, he sent the Comforter into the hearts of men, and he lives within us. And so we're going to talk for pretty much all of this next week about the Comforter and what he has to do to our lives. And boy, in this time of struggle and chaos and all of the things that are going on, I want you to see in these five minute times that there is comfort in Jesus Christ. There is comfort in the church. There's comfort with one another and there's comfort in the word of God. And we want to be able to talk together over this time to let you be comforted in your heart about every situation, about every circumstance, because we have the comforter living in us. He's not some obscure entity out here in the realm of the unknown. He has come to live in the hearts of man. We believe this. We believe that the Holy Spirit operates in us on a daily basis. So I want to pray for you today. I want to believe God for you to open your heart and ask the comforter to come in. Father, we pray right now for all of those who are watching. And we ask you, even as Jesus asked you, that the comforter, your Holy Spirit, will come into the hearts of everyone who will open up their heart and ask that you, Lord, will be the mainstay of their daily existence. We spoke about it in another episode, and we said that, Lord, you lead and guide us into all truth. Well, truth is a comfort when you gain it correctly. So I pray, Father, that you will fill them with your Holy Spirit, that you will immerse them in you and you in them. That, Lord, the people who are watching, the people who are joining with us and connecting, will be comforted, that they will know of an assurance deep in their heart, you're their Lord, you're their God, you are the God, the King of kings and the Lord of lords, and you comfort us. Oh, Lord, you comfort us in such a tremendous way. Let that comfort be rich in the hearts of your people today, and let them acknowledge it in Jesus' name. Now, folks, let us know. Somehow connect with us on Facebook, connect with us on our ccoth.org, and let us know how God is comforting you. Your testimonies will, in fact, be an encouragement to others. It will be a blessing to us, and it will bless others. So we pray today that you will connect with us on a regular basis. We are so grateful to be able to impart to you words of comfort, words of hope, in fact, words of stability. Bless you today in Jesus' name. May you have an awesome time. God bless you.